with Jake and Joy. Our eighth season of our vegan gluten-free show. I can't even believe it, Derek, can you? No way, eight? Eight years, we've been doing this for a long time and we hope that you get lots of value. Maybe you're not vegan or gluten-free, but you just like to come and watch us and laugh at us and laugh with us. I like laughing at you. You like laughing at us? <laughs> you like laughing near us. Yes. Yes. Um, or maybe you're starting to get your plant, your your um, family to be a little more plant-based and you're like looking for some ideas. And hopefully these are simple enough recipes for you. Um, they, we use just pretty standard ingredients. So, um, except in this recipe today, we have something called kaffir leaf, which was super hard to find. I guess you can get it in Asian markets, okay. um, but we, we had to actually get this from the people who gave us the recipe, which is the organic soup kitchen. And at the end of the episode, or maybe Derek, even now you could put up their website so people could support them if they want. They supply, uh, uh, Low income cancer patients with soup, and they work with um, like leading cancer researchers and cancer experts to develop these recipes to help improve, uh, improve, like reduce inflammation, to help stabilize blood sugar, to really fuel them properly for for fighting for fighting what they're fighting off cancer, and it's it's on a. It, the regular, the general public can purchase the soups as well, which is kind of cool. So you can actually purchase from them to support their cause. And our farm, Chapala Gardens, donates quite a bit of produce to them. So um, they were really just kind enough to give us this recipe. But it's a recipe that feeds 60, it makes 60, 60 gallons. gallons. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. we're, we kind of adjusted it. We're hoping that our math <laughs> is right. <laughs> Either canned or diced tomatoes, carrots, celery, diced potatoes, kale, coconut cream, White beans, black beans, pintos, beans, lentils, and then we're going to need thyme, turmeric, pepper, bay leaf, and kaffir leaf, which is uh, a lime type leaf, and it really adds, that's what, where the unique flavor comes, oregano, toasted garlic, chipotle powder, and salt. <laughs> we're starting off with diced potatoes, carrots, and celery, and we're going to get those into some broth that I've already got boiling. And that's a lot of carrots yes. and potatoes. Now I used three different kinds of carrots just because I thought it was cute. And, yeah. it's and, and, every, and doesn't every color have different properties, right? I don't every, know. Every I would color imagine of plant has different. I would imagine. I, think, I would so. imagine that they're similar. Um, but I love. I, I think this is going to be really good. I had this dish. They call it cowgirl chili, and I liked it so much. And I think I really liked the kaffir, the kaffir, kaffir. leaf that was in it. So we're going to put that in right away. It's, you use it like bay leaf, so you're not going to you're not going to eat it. You're right. going to just use it to flavor. And I have no idea how much because they didn't say. Same thing with the the bay leaves. I'm going to put those in right away. You want to open that for me? And I want these to get really nice and soft while we get all the rest of the ingredients. So we used some math, that's not my forte, <laughs> but we did use some math to figure out you know, exactly what we were gonna need for this. And we've got um, two cans of white beans, a can of black beans, and a can of pinto beans that we're gonna add at the end. And these are rinsed well. You could make your own too, and if you're making 60 gallons, I would think that you would wanna make your own beans because it would get a little bit more expensive. How many beans do just a couple? Um, yeah, I think just, a, just, just one or two. One or two, yeah. I think that's going good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Good, and, and you know, it's really important when you're using spices, um, to me, to have them, see how bright green that is? I like to store my bay leaves forever and they look like they're, they're white like, almost. Right, right. And those probably don't have very much nutrition left in them, nor More flavor. flavor right. <laughs> so, so make sure that you're using them. And I also found out that you can freeze both bay leaves and, oh. and I don't even know what, what do bay leaves come from? I don't know that either. San Francisco, the Bay. <laughs> <laughs> but you, bay Area leaves. But, but you can just understand that anything that has a strong aromatic smell that is a plant is going to be high in antioxidants for you. We're also going to use some fresh thyme off the Tower Gardens. And once again, this is going to have a lot of um, smell to it as well. And Jake, maybe we can chop that up a little bit or pin it, take it off the thing. And we're also going to add lentils. And the lentils you want to soak overnight if you're, if you're not using canned lentils, which I don't know why you would want to. But I soaked these overnight, and so we'll, add, we'll be adding those as well, as well as some chopped kale and then some other seasonings. Okay, this is looking really good, but I think I might have overdone it a little bit with the measurements. So too we much might, of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we might have to. I, and I could have done this if I had a great, a bigger stock pot, but this is going to be a little bit of a challenge to make everything work. So now we're going to add the kale. 
chopped kale. And that's gonna, that's gonna shrink down. That will shrink down, so that's why I wanna get that in there yeah. now. And then let's measure out all the, um, the spices while that melts okay. down. Where's your paper? Where is my paper? It's got honey all over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we need, so we've already got the bay leaf, we've got the kefir, kefir, right? Kefir? No, kaffir. Kaffir, the kaffir leaf kaffir. in there. Um, and now we need some spices. One and a half teaspoons of most of those things. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I need, where is the And their, their measurements were like pounds, oh in pounds. God. And so I had to like transfer it down. So we want to get one and a half teaspoons. And this is one and a half teaspoons right here, hon. This is one and a half teaspoons of this. So we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of turmeric. And I didn't bring the turmeric, so maybe you could grab that. One, one and a half teaspoons. The roasted garlic, now they, they talk about that in terms of like they put um, pounds of roasted garlic. We're going to do uh, two tablespoons. You had a, don't you have a, a, a small, not an open one of turmeric? Y yeah, uh -huh, it should be up in the cupboard. And we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of everything else. The chipotle, which of course I didn't open it. But the overwhelming thing that I really smelled in this was um, the, the kaffir leaf. This is going to be one and a half teaspoons of, of crushed chipotle, which I'm kind of surprised that they do that because um, their, sen their tastes are so sensitive, you know, when you're going through chemo. So I'm kind of surprised. I'm having CFS, so you're going to have to get it. Okay. CFS. CFS. Can't That's, find shit. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you want to do the, you want to make the pepper. We need three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. And where three is? Three quarters. Where is the oh it's, oh, it's up there, right there. I didn't look in there. I was looking in there just in the pantry. Oh. I thought you meant in that thing in the pantry. Yeah. I'm not going to measure. How am I going to measure that out with this? One and a half teaspoons of turmeric. Turmeric is great for, for it's a, actually a, a tumor inhibitor. Did you know that? I uh, know. Yeah, that is interesting. So that's. Is that why they call it turmeric? Turmeric. I suppose. That's, I didn't even think of that. That's so funny. Tumor, ugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then a little bit of salt. We'll measure the salt this time. Yes, we will measure the salt this time. Um, one and a half tablespoons. It seems like a lot. What? No. Don't you think that seems like a lot? One and a half. Yeah, that does seem like a lot. I'm not going to add all of that. We can always add yeah. more. Yeah, and more the pepper. pepper. Yeah, more pepper. More. I'll put in some, but we'll put in more. Oh, oregano. we we'll put the oregano in it. All right, that's got to be peppery enough. Okay. And one and a half teaspoons of, right? Everything's one and a half of the oregano? Yeah, teaspoon, yeah. Just oregano. like that. And we got we the garlic, we got all of that. I did, yep. Okay. Okay. Did all of that. So we're going to get that kale in there with the roasted vegetables. And what they do is they, they um, you can, a lot of their soups are creamed because some cancer patients can't do the, right. the chewy stuff, but this stuff was half creamy and half not. So some of you can blend some of it. Yes. Yes, and with any chili, anything that you put beans in that are already cooked, I like to add those at the end so that they don't get like That's soft and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. Over, yeah. and overcooked. Um, are yeah. we going to blend some or no? Yeah, we are, sure. but we're going to wait until we're, we've got everything in it. So we're going to put some tomatoes. And they were like, I can't remember how much tomato they called for, but it was a ridiculous amount. They were the, yeah. and, when, and we're going to put coconut cream in this too. Mm, and, yum, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be but really. Wait, so you're going to blend it with the leaves, with the, with the kaffir leaves? Uh, no, we'll, we'll fish those oh, okay, out. Okay, okay, that's what yeah. I thought. I was going to say. Yeah, we'll fish counts. those out. That would, that would be a little yeah, bit too strong. Yeah. No. We'll fish those out. Okay. And we'll blend it probably, I wonder if we should blend it before we put the beans in or after. I don't know. Derek, what do you think? I think after. I think I would leave the leaves in. Just for like <laughs> you win, you win a prize if you get the leaf. I think we should do it. I think we should blend it. We should blend everything. 
okay. blend some of everything. Down. I also made some, I also cut up some tomatoes off of our farm. Uh, tomatoes we're still harvesting in January. We're filming this in January. And these tomatoes came off of our farm, Chapala Gardens, if you want to check out chapalagardens.com. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And if you want to donate to Organic Soup Kitchen, um, we'll have the, the, uh, the website, on your, website on, the, on your screen and what they really they call you a, a super a donor super, S -O -U, S -O -U -P -E -R. super donor yeah and, superhero and, and you know with any charity that you are supporting I really recommend that you if you if you really want to support what they're doing that you become a monthly donor because if you donate say you want to give someone a hundred bucks if you give them ten bucks over the year every month instead it goes well first of all it's 120 bucks not yeah, 100 right. but second of all it lets them know what their monthly budget is so it lets yeah. them know how many can Cancer patients they can actually serve right, and that's sums. right and that's really 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 important yeah. so you think we should wait to add the beans till after we I think we should puree some of it all of it all of it yeah. okay all right let's but I don't know if this pot is gonna <laughs> put take that last maybe we won't put that last yeah. kind of plus these and the beans yeah yeah this and stuff the... has to go in yeah because so that's it's... the flavor so we're adding to... it wanted um, 21 ounces and these are 13 ounces, 13 and a half. So that would be half of this, right? All right. <laughs> wow. Well done. Nailed it. <laughs> now you're basically in the whole thing. I'll just leave it. <laughs> yeah, no, really it's good. not. That's good. So this is going to change the flavor quite a bit. Yeah. Now it actually in the recipe called to saute the veggies in oil, which I was really kind of surprised by. Mm -hmm. So I sauteed them in, in veggie broth that we made from all the, um, the stuff that you know, we chopped right. up. Yeah, so I made that into veggie broth, which for me, that's gonna be a lot more nutrient dense, but it's probably more time consuming than they want to, to put into it, but they could, they could do that. There's a big chunk of coconut in there. So yeah, I'll get, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. And the lentils too? Yeah, but we're going to put that in afterwards, right? Didn't you say that? That we we're going to do it afterwards? Or you said we we're going to do it all together? I can't. The lentils. I'm talking about. Yeah, but they're beans. Yeah, well, no, well, I'm talking. Well, I, yeah, I, I was not thinking of those. They're not cooked, so you don't want to blend those. You got to. Oh, right, right, right. right, so they're right. Not cooked, so they need to go in. Good, good thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to know that that money for your education has been well spent. Starting to fish the leaves out as they come to the surface. Is that is that long in there long enough? I think so. I mean, I don't know. I that doesn't really. I don't know either. Asking. I'm guessing. I'm just guessing. We're guessing our you way can through this soup. Put them back soup. in at the end because you know you. I, mean, I have soup all the time that you get that it has the leaves in it still. Uh huh. So that way you can really keep flavoring it. You know. <laughs> I'm ruining my shirt. Do you want to do this? <laughs> and you know, this is this, um, whoever chopped this kale up, there's chunks of the stem, which I normally take the stems out, but you know, there's probably yeah, still nutrient dense. It'll get, it'll get soft. Right. It's, yeah. Right. How long do we have to cook lentils for? I didn't even think about that. I don't know. I was thinking about putting so that So that way you couldn't put them in at the end. Right. You'd have to blend them up. Right. Is this fascinating? Your banter is blowing everybody away. <laughs> Between spilling stuff on your shirt and lentil banter. <laughs> this is why we need aprons. Yeah. Okay. So what we can you know, here's what we can do is we can take some out that we're gonna blend and not put it back into the yeah, and not perfect. put it back into the pan. Perfect. So we probably just need to let the lentils cook, cook a little bit. Yep. I'm helping a I lot. I should have counted out how many <laughs> cavern leaves I put I know, you, in. Here, you, you stir put for a lot. lot. I did, I put a lot. You put a lot in. I'm just wondering about the flavor. Um, let me get a spoon. You want to taste it? Yeah, I just, I'm just curious about the seasonings because, you know, like I said, we're guesstimating. You can be guesstimating along with us. Hmm. It's not, not, not how it tastes. Yeah, I think it is. You're spilling all over the place too. You're yeah, not, I'm not you're not, a better, about it. you're not a better spritz. I wouldn't say I was. I'm hunting. I'm hunting for for leaves. leaves. It's like an Easter egg in a video game, except it's a bay leaf and a pot of chili. Yeah. I'm gonna get a measuring cup and pour some into the 
into the blender and start okay. blending it. The only thing I'm worried about is are the lentils, if they're done enough. Do you think so? I don't I don't think that they were very, they were in there very long. Okay, so let's add the beans. Okay. And we've got um, cannellini beans, we've got black beans and pinto beans, and it's kind of a two, it's, we have twice as many of the cannellinis as we have of the Others. black and the pintos, yeah. We'll get those all in, and these are already cooked, so we don't have to worry about that. And I would imagine that even when they make 60 gallons, <laughs> that they cook them ahead of time. I'm sure. Yeah, because otherwise they're gonna, they would have what we just had happen with the, yeah. with the lentils. Okay. All right, good. That looks really nice. It actually does. Looks great, look at all those different plants. Yeah, do you think I should add more tomatoes or not? No, let's just see how, if you can add it after you've let's, after let's you try. Let's try, let me try a little taste of the, Yeah, that's pretty good. That's okay, pretty so good. I, I, I'm going to put the kaffir leaves back in. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, do af yeah. Afterwards, they can keep. Yeah. They can keep. Yeah. And the chipotle, we can definitely taste that. All right, so let's get the Vitamix in the picture here. Okay. You want to do it or you want me to do it? And I would, you um, I'd fill it. Not, you know, to the very top because then it won't blend, but I'd, I'd put a lot in. Because like you said, it's going to make it thicker. And mm -hmm. make sure you get a lot of the chunky stuff, not so much broth. It's pretty chunky. Maybe one more. Oops. Making a mess okay, of this Okay, there stuff. we go. Okay. All right, so now we're going to use a Vitamix. And I really recommend that if you are a serious cook and you want to start doing more plants, get a Vitamix. There's so many things that you can do with it. You can also get a Ninja. It um, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to turn it on. It's going to be loud. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to throw these back in. Um, I, I have an idea. I think we should pre maybe even more. What do you think? Well, let's, let's, see what, let's see what it looks like. Don't put them in yet. Okay. Do you guys love experimenting with us on camera? Yeah. That looks so, good. I think that's we'll good. Well, stir it up. See what it looks like. I think that's going to be good. Like looks like baby food. <laughs> so like I said, a lot of yeah, the I soups think, are pureed think, all the way yeah, through. Yeah, but I think it's nice to have the chunks. I think if you do more, you're going to get, you're gonna the get only rid thing, of all the chunks. Yeah, so you, you yeah. think that's good, yeah, huh? Because really the way that they sold it to me, it was a little bit different than this, but... It was more pureed. It was more pureed, but that's okay. If you think it looks good, and we'll put the leaves back in. Do you want to put the leaves back in? Definitely. Get more of that kaffir flavor. I think it could have maybe used more kale. I don't know. So this is one of those soups that I don't know if you watched my first episode. I make a soup. We made a bunch of soups. That, Derek, do you remember that? We made, it was first called season, not Stone's, yeah, first season. We called it Stone Soup. And it's basically about taking all the vegetables that you have in your refrigerator, putting them into a pot with seasonings that you like. You can make it Italian, you can make it Mexican, you can make it Indonesian, you know, whatever flavors you want to make them. And, you know, basically that's the basis of any soup. And Joel Furman talks a lot about that in his book, Eat to Live. Um, he actually has an anti-cancer soup that he makes, and he does it by first juicing a lot of the vegetables that are going in there. Do you want to have a little bowl? I just want to taste it. I, never, I haven't had the original soup, so I have nothing to, to compare it to. Okay. Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. You'd actually eat that? Awesome. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. We pulled it off. Cowgirl chili. And then I would definitely put the, the leaves back in and let them get a little bit stronger smell because um, that, for me, was really what could... Was, yeah, the flavor's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, the flavor of that was really good. And it was just really unusual, um, just a very different chili than I've ever, yeah. uh, ever made. So you think it's got enough tomato and you think yeah. everything's good? Great. All right, there we have it, another episode <laughs> of Cook with Jake and Joy. Tune in next time and we'll see you then.